This chapter, like many in the book of Proverbs, it's like a reference guide of wisdom. You know, it's written in couplets, which are intended to kind of contrast wise and foolish choices and lifestyles. Now, as a book of wisdom, Proverbs is really a guide to living well. And a book of wisdom, it's not the same like a, like a book of the law with laws and rules of you, you shall or shall not. It's not a book of prophecy with things like, thus saith the Lord. You see, Proverbs are not even promises, but are general observations. And in chapter 14, there are some one-line Proverbs that just resonate and ring true. For example, in verse 29 and 30, Solomon writes this, People with understanding control their anger, but a hot temper shows great foolishness. And a peaceful heart leads to a healthy body because jealousy is like cancer in the bones. But probably the most well-known line from this entire chapter comes from verse 12. There is a path before each person that seems right, but it ends in death. And in relationship to the gospel, this is where many people find themselves. You see, what makes the good news about Jesus such good news well, it is first and foremost an understanding that without receiving the forgiveness of God made available to us through Jesus' death and resurrection, no one is on a right path, at least not in being able to be in relationship with God. You see, being a good person, it isn't the right path. Following a religious set of rules or hoping that your good outweighs your bad can't make anyone right with God. All of these will end in death. No one is on the right path without Jesus. It's only God that can make us right with God through the forgiveness he offers through his son, Jesus. So today, let's thank God for his son, Jesus, and share this good news with someone who needs to know and experience the goodness, the grace, and the forgiveness of God.